Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back. Today we're out here in El Zócalo on a Saturday afternoon, well, Saturday morning, for La Muestra de Altares. All right, now, we just got here a little while ago. It's like 11.30ish or something. And they're already closing everything up. Everything's all done, so I'm not gonna be able to show you much. I also gotta run a few errands out here today, so we'll just, uh, I'll show you whatever I can today. It's a weird episode. We're just starting it out. But uh, yeah, so let me see if I can show you a little bit, and we'll go from there, all right? So the event was supposed to start at 11 and then we get here and then they tell us that it stopped at 11. It was ending at 11. Here, let me show you a little, here, let me do some adventuring so I can show you guys a little bit of uh, what these things are, okay? So literally what was happening was that the, the whole park, the whole center of the the whole center of the city was filled with lots of these things. So you see there's one there. There's another one over there and they're supposed to be all over El Zócalo. But we got here too late. Now the thing is about being out here, you've heard me talk about this many many times before. You know, the fact that the whole timing out here is messed up. So it was supposed to start um, at 11 and then we get here and we find out that it's done at 11. So, you know, see, look, we're all upset. And it's funny because we're not the only ones. There's so many people that are in our position. But there's still some events going on. But as you guys can see, they're already tearing it down. We're, I'm just going to keep showing you guys around and uh, we'll go from there, all right? So this used to be, you know, this was a thing here. This was a... Uh, and so all this stuff is for a competition. Look at this one. Look at this one. Oh, it's like a little stage up here. Let me see if I can get up on the stage, all right? I'm my wife, I'm everyone. <laughs> everyone wants to get on this thing right now. Alright, I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. See, see. Alright, let's do this. The living statue guy, dude. All right, so I'm just gonna keep walking around, and I'm gonna keep showing you guys what there is, uh, what there is left to see. Okay. So as you guys already know, this is one of my grievances about being out here. The fact that a lot of times they don't schedule things correctly. They don't do things correctly. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But, eh, whatever. We get to at least have some fun out here. So Nothing's perfect, all right? Nothing's perfect. So, But, all right, let's check this out real quick. So 
So as you guys can see, for, for the Day of the Dead, what they do is literally, um, it's like an altar, you know, in order to um, commemorate the life of uh, someone that passed away. And then they put all their favorite foods, all their favorite stuff, you know, right here so that people can, uh, you know, see, you know, again, like an offering, you know, just like, um, you know, so in case, uh, so he's supposed to come back, I think. I think how it works is that they're supposed to come back um, tonight or during the Day of the Dead and then you know you're supposed to have all this awesome food for them and all this stuff that they love so that way um, they have something to to eat when they get back. I don't know the, quite the, the exact history. Maybe someone in the comments can help me out with that. Maybe I should ask Christian, right? I'm sure she knows exactly what that was supposed to be going on with these things. But all right, let's keep showing you around. I want to book it. Oh look, look at the costumes up ahead there. Mm. At least there's not that much music playing so I can show you guys around more. But yeah, this is uh, right here in the center of town. This is where all these events happen all the time. This is Socalo. You guys see me walking through here all the time. You guys see me hanging around here all the time. But this is where they have events all the time. Um, and this is where they were having this event. So like uh, last night, um, they spent all of Friday night. They, they came here really late at night and they spent all, um, all through the night, all the way until early this morning, building this stuff. And it seemed like 11 a.m. wasn't the start time. 11 a.m. was the end of the competition. And you know, Tila, look at this cool thing. I guess it was something built here. You know, you could just imagine, you could just imagine like all the... Next year will come a lot earlier, right? A lesson learned. But again, you know, from last year's um, thing, you know, this thing was going on for like the weekend. It was going on for a lot longer. Um, even though it was raining and the weather was really crappy and shitty, there was no reason for them to to end this. Um, but that's, that's exactly what happened, as you guys can see. Um, everyone's already packing up and going home and it's only, you know, it's probably 12 o'clock right now, noon, at the latest. Um, so yeah. Well, anyways, what are we gonna do, right? What are you gonna do? All right, let me see if I can find Christian. Oh, there she is. <laughs> you sad? Yeah, look, we're very disappointed, right? Not happy. <laughs> All right, I'm the... Here's the line for free tacos. <laughs> We're gonna go, this is all the line just for those free tacos. Christian doesn't want any, even though she eats anything and everything. So that's the line for the tacos right there. All right. But anyway, so let me tell you the story real quick of how this is supposed to be. Here, let me let me use this as a background here. But like how, you know, how it's supposed to be is that like um, these altars are built, right? Okay, so I got a little reference here. These altars are built in order to, um, uh, in, in order to, um, como se dice, honor, in order to honor the dead, and then they are allowed to come back one day out of the year in order to uh, hang out with the family and eat dinner with the family, right? And um, and enjoy the family and all that good stuff. And so that's why um, everybody makes their favorite food, their favorite stuff. We went to Walmart yesterday and they had one of these for Mr. Walton himself, I know, horrible. And um, and you should see the altar. I think I took a picture of it. I'm gonna see if I can put it here. Um, but in the altar, you know, it had like um, rum, it had uh, cigarettes, it had all the stuff that Mr. Walton liked. I know, it's fucking horrible. Did they see in the little Walmart? <laughs> but anyways, I'm gonna, I got a picture. I'll, I'll show it to you guys here, all right? But yeah, so this is the like, house that we're really supposed to be. Ah, okay, okay, so when the dead do come, you know, even though you don't see them here, they actually do eat with you and they take the essence of the food with them. That's like the whole deal. So, all right, that's a, that's the proper explanation. I'm leaving the horrible one and the good one in there, all right? So, 
Because we gotta, we gotta fill this episode up, all right? We're gonna keep walking around and showing you guys around, all right? Mom, next, next stop. Nice cave. That guy was complaining he got some raw corn that the corn was not cooked. <laughs> Seems like everything was half fast this year for some reason, right? La cosa que estaba hecha yeah. Things were things were done half fast this year. It's not good, man. But whatever. It is what it is, though. Just keep walking around, though, showing you guys a little bit of. Uh, it's Centro, it's Socalo on a Saturday morning after the cleanup, after events. There's a shoe shine guy over there. Where? Let's go this way now. Hey. Oh, I think the people are starting to set up their shops. Ya están empezando a ver a poner la tiendita para mañana. Oh no. Oh no, no, todo bien. Oh, look, that's like a traditional food right there. Very traditional. That's a super duper traditional. Ese es el, el, el tamal, right? ¿Cómo se llama? Tamal pibil, no? El pib. El pib. So that's called uh, tamal pib, what you just saw there. El tamal pib. I think they might have it here too. No? Something else? <laughs> so tamal pib. Look, look at that line again for just to get one taco. See, just like it, just like back home, man. People will line up for fucking days just for for anything free. You know, in case in case you guys need some marketing strat strategies there, just give away the stupidest shit for free, and people will line up for days. All right. Oh look, it's the rooster. How's it going, brother? Like, don't fuck with me, man. Don't don't come close to my cage, y'all. I'll bite that hand off. <laughs> See, that's the rooster from uh, from her farm that protects the chickens. He's out here, you know. He's out here um, doing his thing, all right. So, yeah, just walking around, <laughs> enjoying it. Ah, it's everywhere. <laughs> you know, he smiled. Like one of them smiled at me. One of them smiled. He can't. <laughs> Wait, where do you go to the U.S. Forget the way how much they smile there. <laughs> they really smile at you there. Oh, look, see, look, check this out. I think they're already cleaning up. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Uh, so yeah, I mean, this is the aftermath of uh, after the after the event. Kind of sucks, I know. I'm, we're so disappointed. Look, they got Boy Scouts out here, in case you guys were not aware. I was I was made aware that they actually have Boy Scouts out here too, so look at that. Some Boy Scouts, right? Yes, okay. Yes, actual Boy Scouts. Interesting, huh? Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts. <clears throat> hey, look, another one of these. There's two of them. No, they're not going to start cockfighting. I can. I already know the jokes, right? But look, they're tied down to a... Yeah, okay, so that's the hen. That's the rooster. She's a chicken expert. Right there? <laughs> here we got another altar right here. Look at this one. It still hasn't been... You see... And so again, you know, what this was supposed to be is like all of these altars all around in Socalo, they were here for a competition. And I don't know who won, and I don't know what happened, but... It's a lot of bees. Lot of, yeah. Yeah, this one. Yeah. 
Esto tiene mucho dulce. This one has a lot of sweets. You can see all the bees. <laughs> All right, let's check it. Next, next, the. Uh... Yeah, we're trying to like hurry through them because to see which ones are still al which ones are still alive. I mean, not alive. I mean, which ones are still going? Which one of these altars are still up? But yeah, man, it's a shame. But don't worry, guys. And by, by and next week is the Day of the Dead. Um, the whole march. And, um, you know, we're gonna, you know, I'm gonna go through that um, and they're not gonna cancel that. That's like a big thing. It's like canceling Christmas, so they're not gonna do that. So next week, you know, we're gonna be marching around uh, from the cemetery all the way to the center of the city. Um, uh, what should I call it? Um, through the whole traditional Day of the Dead thing. And then, damn, man, do you que tenían algo eso para hoy, para después? Lo que tienen ahí. Eso para más tarde, ¿no? Ah, okay. Yeah, they're sending off for something else later tonight there. But anyway, so like I was saying, um, I'll be able to show you guys off later on in the future. I'll be able to show you guys more and in, in maybe tomorrow's episode or in a very soon, very future episode, like in a few days, I'm going to show you guys exactly how uh, um, how a lot of these altars are supposed to look, okay? Because we're going to be walking around through the neighborhood, through the the actual um, walk, you know, the traditional Day of the Dead walk, and we're going to be showing you guys as a lot of... Uh, it's a lot of noise out here. Showing you guys a lot of uh, of these altars that people make for themselves at home, okay? I hope you guys caught that. That's a popular one here, I guess. Let me see if we can get to the corner. I think they're speaking in Mayan. So yeah, that's not Spanish. That's definitely Mayan. That's for sure. But uh, yeah, very, very interesting. Well, guys, I really do hope that you guys enjoyed today's episode. Um, I really wanted to show you guys a lot more of today's events, but unfortunately, um, there were some scheduling issues uh, that presented themselves and obviously uh, we weren't able to film the whole event. Now, to give you some more context into that, when we were there, um, we were asking other people and we were investigating and doing our thing and we, you know, from, we were hearing from some people that Oh yeah, the events actually happened earlier and they were ending by the time that, you know, they literally were done by the time we got there. We got there at noon. The schedule said that the event was supposed to start at 11 a.m. And uh, what really happened was that 11 a.m. was pretty much around the time, we don't really know, but it seems that 11 a.m. was when they did the judging, the final judging, you know, for the competition. and. Uh, and by the time that 11.30 rolled around, it was all done. By the time 12 rolled around, it was literally done. And they were already cleaning up 12, 12.30, you know. Um, and then, you know, there was a lot of things, you know. So we did a lot of investigation, not just there, but um, also like on Facebook and Instagram and just asking other people that went, didn't go, the whole thing. Now, remember, I'm the... The, the dumb gringo expat that lives out here that's still learning about all of these traditions which by the way I'm gonna put a video at the end of this video something that my girlfriend found for me the other day and uh, what she found online that was great and it explains the whole day of the dead and especially the day of the dead how they do it out here in the Yucatan perfectly so I'm gonna download that and I'm gonna put it at the end of this video so you guys can watch it after you're done watching me 
that little film about El Dia de los Muertos I was gonna play for you at the end of this video is in Spanish. So I'm gonna play a little clip and then what I'm gonna do is like provide the link at the bottom so you guys can watch it on your own with English subtitles, all right, which are provided through the link. In Chich Carmen, Lala Hakupi, Leti Kans in Mama Mercedes, Leti Tunk and Ube Telek Inova, In Chich Ken Ati, Pibe Uhan Lil Pishano, Leti Okutalo Panto, In Chich Kansina, Utial Ujo Helti, Pish Utstutan Leti, Ting in Ol Marcelo. All right, so please check it out. Now, back to what I was saying. There was over 106 or 108 different um, uh, individuals, you know, individual altars um, that were supposed to um, represent their respective communities um, at the, at, you know, at today's uh, event. Now, um, at, out of the 106 or 108, only like I think 40 something made it. I want to say 46 something like that only 40 something made it now there is a situation going on um with the indigenous communities you know the, the very very poor communities and the 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 new um president i'm sorry not the new president the new mayor the new governor that's in charge i'm not going to sit here and pretend like i know everything but it's literally the same thing that's happening all over the world you know the haves versus the have-nots and um the people that put together, you know, this whole thing with the altars are usually the have-nots, all right? And sure, this city is growing and there's a lot of amazing events and amazing things happening all the time. I show you guys all the time, but unfortunately, as the city is growing and there's abundance to be had everywhere, you, the people that end up suffering are the people that have the least. And only because, you know, they themselves are not set up to be in position to take advantage of the fruits of the you know of the labor of the growth of the city and in fact they get pushed away and you know just the whole same thing of the genderification that happens all around the world and so on and so forth it's the same old story it's no different out here the reason I'm talking about this and bringing this up was because a lot of the locals were very upset they were saying like, well, wait a minute, why are you even going to put, you know, go through this whole thing? Because again, it takes the individuals um, to set up the altar over 24 hours, something like that. So literally they come in on Friday afternoon or Friday and they're building these whole altars all the way through the night, all the way through the night um, so that they're displayed for only a few hours in the early morning of Saturday morning and by the time that 11 o'clock a.m. rolls around on Saturday morning they're gone and you know a lot of people come from very far away with their families with their kids you know the whole thing to go look at these things and they were severely disappointed that this was not there anymore and so you know there's a you know the at the end of the day the, the ones that always end up getting shafted are the people that have the least so again why i'm bringing this up is because i don't want to even pretend to know the political situation that's going on here that is preventing this event that is beloved by the local people from taking place from here on in all right the reason again i'm bringing this up is because i know there's a lot of you guys out there that speak the english all right and you guys are now a brand new part of this community and maybe this is somewhere where if you want to contribute you can help contribute because from what I was looking at the only reason that this is going away is because there's no money there's no anything involved again the people usually that put this event together are the indigenous people the small you know and again not just indigenous people I'm talking about like literally the natives of Merida and the Yucatan they live in a lot of these little pueblos and around Merida and then the Yucatan and then they come from their respective areas to come and represent their areas here and so the people that put this together are literally the poorest of the poor from the Yucatan for the most part so it's like very different from other events out here that just like back home are sponsored by Coca-Cola Heineken well, you know, you name it, okay? Whatever. So when we were going to this event, it was sponsored by nobody. And that's the thing. It's always all about money. So perhaps there's individuals out there that are looking at this, watching this, um, can see this, 
and maybe this is how you guys can help contribute. And again, I'm not just talking about any expats out there. I'm talking about maybe there's a lot of you guys that are also Mexican that live out here and this is all part of your community. And this is maybe now the first time that this is stuff, this, this, stuff, this is brought to your attention. And these are the things that as a city grows, literally get lost in the shuffle. And again, as the city grows, they're bringing in a lot of culture and a lot of activities and a lot of awesome things, but then the real stuff like this gets lost. And this is the stuff that nobody wants to get lost. And the only individuals out there that are interested in something like this getting lost, all right, don't represent the majority of the people, all right? So everything that happened at this event was a shit show. It was poorly planned and everyone, almost literally everyone that I talked to, my girlfriend talked to, um, that was, you know, knows about what happened, was not very happy. This is an event that I myself was under the impression was gonna happen, was gonna be around for a few days so that, again, us showing up at 12 noon only an hour after it was really supposed to start, which by the way, we checked back the time, and yeah, we were not wrong, okay? It was supposed to start at that time. Hey guys, sorry about that. Battery ran out, and as it was running out, it made me lose my train of thought and where I was going, and then as I was editing, oop, I remembered. So anyways, and, and, the, and, and I have to say this because it's very important, but as I was saying, these altars, according to tradition, how it goes is that they take like a huge amount of time, like a whole day, 24 hours, all the way working through the night in order to build these altars. And then they're supposed to stay there for days or even a whole week or more, but definitely for a very long time so that people at their leisure can come and enjoy these things because it's part of the, pre it's part of like, uh, like kind of like setting up a Christmas tree type of thing, at least in this case, you know, type of thing where you set it up and you're enjoying it for, a, 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 you know, a period of time. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that work, they have families, they have all kinds of things, and it's hard for them to, you know, come out there and check it out. So they got to come when they can, instead of just like a one hour time period. I mean, think about that, it's kind of nuts. But, you know, again, you know, there's a lot of other things in play which are causing this rift, which is not allowing these altars to be displayed in its central as they're usually de being displayed. So, you know, long story short, Everyone was severely disappointed because these things were supposed to be there for a very long time. Not just a few minutes or an hour or two. <laughs> Sorry about that. I was I ran out of battery as I was going off on my rant. I really do suck at making these uh, videos, right? I, I definitely got to get better at this stuff. Uh, you know, anyways. So, like I was saying, the reason I'm really bringing all this up is because if I don't bring it up, it doesn't seem like anyone's gonna bring it up, okay? So, please, I hope that everything I said was uh, plenty so that you guys can start looking into this, assuming you even care about this, so that way we don't lose this tradition because it seems like next year it's gonna be less people participating and so on and so forth. This is only gonna get pushed out of existence and that's the, you know, the assessment I keep, you know, making after, you know, seeing the whole situation out here. Yeah, sorry, I know it's dark out here. Anyways, guys, thanks again for watching. Um, we're going to end this episode here. I really hope that we can, you know, somehow, you know, do something positive out of this video. And I really hope that this is something that the city of Medida doesn't lose because just from my experience, from I'm sure experience that you, a lot of you guys have out there, it sucks when our traditions, our, our old traditions, the ones that really mean the, the most to us start disappearing, all right? And especially over things like money and greed. So guys, please, if, if any of this resonates with you and if you care about any of this and if you definitely, if you're part of this community, let's see if we can fix this, all right? Guys, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share, please hit that bell icon, please stay awesome. And uh, yeah, that's it. I wanna give a shout out to all my patrons, all my supporters, all my everyone's that, that help me keep these lights on because you know, as you guys can see, you know, I only got half the lights on. You know, I'm just trying to make a joke. Anyways, I love you guys. 
Thanks again for joining me as always. And uh, please stay tuned to tomorrow's episode um, in which uh, we're going to do El Dia de los Muertos. All right. So thanks again for joining me. See you guys tomorrow. Peace. All right, guys. Well, we're going to end this very disappointing episode. All right. Unfortunately, we made it here late. We didn't know we were supposed to be here early. You know, it is what it is. But anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Uh, we at least had some fun walking around. And uh, I'm definitely going to have some fun putting this thing together for you guys. But um, yeah.